Hello, welcome to Learning Plan 1, Object-Oriented JavaScript. As we begin our client-side journey, we will start with a brief review. The prerequisite for this course is Introduction of Programming. Some of you may have taken that prior to last semester, so it may have been a while since you thought about JavaScript. Even if you did take it last semester, you've been on break, and if you're anything like me, then you're going to need a refresher. So we'll attempt to get the gray matter going again by having a brief review based upon Learning Plan 6. Now, additionally, we will review functions, which is a basic building block of JavaScript. Now, after we perform this review, we're going to jump right into more advanced topics. We're going to look at some object-oriented principles, especially those specific to JavaScript. Then we'll take a look at some operators you may or may not have come across during intro. These could be very helpful in your programming. After that, we'll turn to some more advanced control flow statements. Additionally, we're going to look at some more advanced functions. We're going to look at how to use them in our programming. We'll look at things like self-invoking functions, nested functions, closures, and so on. And then lastly, we're going to examine objects. We'll see how useful these can be in our client-side programming. Now, just so you know, I attempt to organize all of the learning plans in a similar fashion. They're very linear, top-down format. So you'll begin at the top of the Blackboard section and simply work your way down, going through each item and assessment as you go. Now, in many of the Blackboard learning plans, there's going to be a zip file on the very top level item. Now, that one I usually use throughout several of the layers, so make sure you download that to work through. So without further ado, let's dive in and happy coding! 